it comes to uh, UK City of HIC City, the city uh, we look at is London, okay, at red and green. Um, the key thing you need to know is that there's 82% of people in the UK who live in urban areas. 32% um, of these uh, of people in the UK live in London and the southeast, uh, whereas the parts of Scotland and Wales are much more sparsely populated. Okay, but the key city we look at is London. Why? Because it's in the southeast. It's, it is a capital city. It's got four international airport, including Heathrow, which is one of the busiest in the world. It's got uh, the M uh, 20 M twenty five and every every major motorway in some ways um m4 m1 m3 um m20 they all leave for london it's got a bit of a star shape should i say motorway wise it's a financial hub a bit of a spec mistake there financial hub with the city of london um it's got uh canary wharf it's got world-renowned universities like LSE, King's College, U university college london etc the eurostar link connects brussels and paris and continental europe Okay, that's why London matters. Uh, impacts national of migration is that well, the population has drastically increased from two million to eight million in the last century. Uh, the population dropped after World War Two, but peaked again. It is if you consider Greater London and with anything within the M25, it's actually got over ten million people. It's the most diverse city in the UK with only forty-five percent of white British. There's a uh, and uh, there's a lot more ethnic composition such as white, non-British, um, South Asians, uh, Black African Americans, uh, Black Africans, Black British. Um, there's a uh, a lot of migration from former colonies like Jamaica, Nigeria. Um, even uh, more came from Poland and the EU. I'm one of those. Um, came from Pol uh, Poland and the EU after 2004 and the EU's expansion. That has led to pressure and housing on the number of school places and cultural integration. If I go to South Kensington, where the French embassy is, I have to go that for my passport and stuff. There's so many French people around there. They haven't always assimilated particularly well. Okay. The reason people move to London, I was one of those at some point in my life. I, was, I did live in London, is that there's loads of jobs in London. And it was the, the impact of a recession wasn't too big. There's high, high skilled jobs such as tertiary quaternary jobs. Um, they pay better wages. Uh, environmentally, they've got some of the biggest parks in uh, in the UK. They've got 8.1 million trees, 13,000 uh, wildlife uh, species. It's one of the greenest capital cities in the world, 47% green with the green belt. It's got great access to green spaces. Okay, socially, it's um it's got well integrated transport system. It's got um. Crossrail has got some great universities. It's got some fantastic resources, uh, services such as cinema, theatres, uh, pubs, nightlifes, etc. Um, it's got completely gentrified in some areas such as Shoreditch, Brixton, uh, and the like. There are some challenges with all this. Is that about four thousand Londoners die every year due to air pollution? Um, almost twenty five percent of London's waste still goes to landfill. London is useless at recycling uh, when i lived there i had to put a black bag bag not even bin bag we got opened by the foxes on the pavement it's ridiculous um housing shortage is uh, is severe uh, due to the growing population in uh, of uh, of london you've got uh, basically more people moving into london and houses being built okay 100,000 people moving to london only 20,000 houses being built um life expectancy varies drastically eight year gap between kings and uh, kensington and newham unemployment rate it varies massively so does um levels of uh, education attainment socially okay massive problem rural urban fringe as london spreads because london hasn't built up like sky singapore uh manhattan or um or hong kong it puts pressure on the green belt it we uh we're destroying some wildlife and ecosystems so there's a push towards um brownfield sites and the best example of brownfield site regeneration is the uh, regeneration of the Olympic Park in um, in the Newham co uh, Council uh, and in the Lower Lee Valley, okay, for London 2012 Olympics. There were some big obstacles. Um, the area went into decline after deindustrialization. Um, the feature is it provided loads of jobs. It's now the stadium is now home for, to West Ham United. Um, there's a, it's opened up and cleaned up uh, the river along with um, green spaces. So you've got some huge uh, successes here. The Olympic Village is now used for homes. The failures, it costs an absolute fortune, um, but it has made the area uh, more long term and sustainable. OK, so what it's done is you've got examples here of um, urban sustainability. We've recently learned about uh, Freiburg, but if you learn about London, they produce a renewable think about renewable energy uh, energy efficient homes water harvesting and uh, in london they've had low emission zone parking park and ride cycle routes bus improvement cross rail integrated transport system all these are applicable for bristol where we live um all these are applicable to lots of other cities uh if you did freiburg they've got better public transport cheap public transport and the like but the best example in london is probably the congestion charge uh which picture here which charges people to use diesel vehicles okay